that flame hurt because it has to burn the bad energy that we have built it in ourselves in order to be polished and to be swimming in the ocean of oneness when it completely melts. At that time, we are there. But how long it's going to take? This is the question. To be lost is very easy. But to be found is very difficult. To find your luggage at the airport takes you a lot of time and sometimes they tell you, oh, sorry, this is hundred dollars for you. So, ourselves, when we are losing ourselves into actions that we are doing and not trying to fix it, it's no way to find ourselves. And I will tell you a story that it happened with one of the biggest saint in history. He was a king. He, he, his name is Ibrahim ibn Adham. He was living in Middle East and always he was lost. He was drunk. He was doing every kind of bad things. And at night, when everyone goes to bed, he goes to middle of the night to his bed, which he built a tower on top of his palace that all from glass and looking to the stars. Drunk. Until morning comes, he wake up at noon, he's king, and look after his kingdom. And many years passed and he was in that situation until one day he was drunk, same as before, and sleeping in his high tower and suddenly he heard someone walking on the roof of his tower and hearing steps. He looked, he opened the window, he saw a man. He said, what you are doing here? And he looked at him, he thought he is a strange person and he's on the tower, no one can reach the tower. And the man looked at him and he said, it's not of your business. He said, I am the king, Sultan Ibn al-Adha. How you say it's not of my business? He said, he didn't call him king, he said, Ya Ibrahim, O Abraham, it's not of your business. He called him by name, so that king immediately got worried. And he said, okay, what you are doing then upstairs? He said, I'm looking for my camel. He said, on my tower, do you think that a camel can fly and come on a, to on a tower? He said, oh Abraham, there might be a possibility that a camel will fly and come on your tower and my camel, I lost it, I'm trying to find it on your tower. 
but there is no way for you to find the truth with this situation you are in. From that moment that Sultan King Ibrahim ibn Adham left his kingdom and was looking for reality to find himself. It's, not, it's a long story. Until he was becoming a very big saint and an ascetic. That's why it strikes me when you hear Jalaluddin Rumi saying, I don't know myself. Am I a Christian? Or am I a Jew? Or am I a Muslim? Or am I a Zoroastrian? I feel I am everything. I, am, I feel that I am part of everything that God has created. I feel everything is within me. Because he reached that complete submission because his, his flame melted all the candle within him. There is no more Rumi there. There is only, he is seeing only the Divine Presence. He is seeing only that love that is originated through him and bringing him to reality to find, to emerge in that, find that ocean of the beautiful name of our Lord in His beautiful names and attributes to manifest these names and attributes and to understand them. So, us as a community from different faiths, whatever faith we are, there are things that suit me in this face, and there are things that suit you in the other face. It's a free. As long as you find yourself not to be lost, and you find the reality, it's okay. It's, it's, a, it's a way of liking and loving all of us together because we are coming from earth and that's why we were speaking yesterday on the meaning of evolution and we were discussing that subject and and we know that all of us we are created from this soil as she mentioned it before the Mother Earth. All of us, we are created from that Earth. The womb. The womb that the soil of humanity, that clay, that mud that was being taken to paradise and created Adam and Eve from it, the first father and mother and all these generations after generations came is the same soil that the trees are living in is the same soil that the flowers are living in is the same soil that animals came from is the same soil that the birds came from is the same soil that the insect and the worms and the butterflies and everything came from so we are in that earth we are one, sharing everything together in the womb of that earth. And that's why God has given us that to enjoy, not to throw each other with weapons and rockets and destroy the peace and the love that God has created and manifested.